post-baccalaureate certificate in bridging to Canadian physical therapy practice is offered in the Faculty of Rehabilitation Medicine in Corbett Hall on the north campus of the University of Alberta. Good morning. How is everyone this morning? Good. Welcome to the admission assessment day. Are you guys nervous? A little bit? We're going to start off the morning with the multiple choice exam. So 100 questions, two hours to complete, done in the computer lab, followed by the written station, so essay style answers. We'll break for lunch. After lunch, we'll do the multiple mini interview stations, followed by the objective structural clinical exam. We'll do up your admissions reports and get those out to you in a couple days. And if you want to follow me, we'll get you set up in the lab. The basic knowledge exam consists of approximately 100 multiple choice questions that test the applicant's knowledge in the areas of cardiorespiratory, musculoskeletal, neurological, basic biological, physical therapy assessment, diagnosis, and treatment. Applicants have two hours to complete the test in a computer lab where each participant signs in to a secure browser and completes the exam online. The basic knowledge exam contributes to the overall ranking of applicants. In addition to the multiple choice exam, participants complete a written station which consists of a series of long answer questions that ask the participants a series of questions on how they would prepare to participate in the program, study strategies, etc. The purpose of the written station is to assess the students' writing abilities in terms of grammar, vocabulary and syntax, as well as to shed some light on the individuals themselves. The multiple mini-interview, or MMI for short, consists of a series of short stations. At each station, the applicant reads a scenario that poses some kind of a problem, a situation, or asks about the applicant's opinion. The applicant has some time to think about the scenario and then proceeds into the room to discuss the situation or problem posed in the scenario. Once Hi in the room, there. the applicant Hi answers the question for an My interviewer. Name's Anik. Hi, Anik. Hi. The interviewer may have further probing questions for the applicant or may just listen to the applicant's answer. I would have to choose a cutback for the education program for disabled children. I'll tell you why. After the designated time, the applicant moves to the next station, reads and prepares to discuss the next scenario. Each room has a different interviewer. The MMI is designed for the applicant to demonstrate communication and critical thinking skills. With other professionals, you almost feel as if you know their role. The Objective Structured Clinical Examination, or OSCE for short, consists of a series of short stations that test the applicant's clinical physical therapy skills. Each station has a scenario in which a specific clinical task will be performed. Any basic skill may be included taking a history, assessing balance, teaching an exercise, performing range of motion, etc. The applicant is given a period of time to read the scenario and to plan their approach. The applicant then enters the exam room and performs the skill with a standardized patient. A standardized patient is an actor who is simulating a specific injury or condition. An examiner observes the interaction and grades the applicant's performance. Nice and relaxed. After the admission assessment, an assessment report including evaluation of all assessment components is produced for each applicant. This report is used by the admission committee to determine who is offered admission into the Alberta Internationally Educated Physiotherapists Bridging Program. The admission assessment report highlights each applicant's strengths and areas for improvement. The AIEPB program is a part-time program offered using a blended format. Students enrolled in the program start by attending a one-week boot camp at Corbett Hall. Subsequent modules of study are offered partly online and with several required in-person labs on Saturdays. Labs are held in both Edmonton and Calgary with instructors at each site. The sites are linked by video conferencing. Online learning activities are done by the students from their home computer. The AIEPB program also includes clinical work. In conjunction with the learning modules, students attend weekly mentorship sessions at a local healthcare facility or private clinic. The mentor assists the IEPT to practice skills and gain insight into the Canadian health system.